this video, let us see how to generate an image from a text without using any API. We will not use any API provided with the ChatGPT or the Gemini. We are going to use the stable diffusion models to generate the image from your text. Here, this is the demo of the project that we are going to build. Here, we provide a prompt here. You can see a fantasy landscape with mountains and a rivers. And for the output, we get this image. Here, you can see we have a mountains and a image. So, this is the output that we got for that prompt. So let's see how to build this text to image generator. Let's get started. For this, just open your browser and go to this website, collab.research.google.com. We will have to use the GPU to generate the image faster. That's why we are using the Google Collab here. Just head over to this website and click on File and select New no Notebook in Drive. We're going to use the notebook from this Google Collab. Because the Google Collab provides us the free GPU version, we will use the GPU to generate the image faster. So we got our notebook now. First, we will have to change the runtime run to GPU. Change the select the GPU and click on save. Here we need to let's install our Python dependencies now. If installed, we will install the Torch, Torch Vision and the Torch Audio. And we will also install the transformers and the diffusions. Here, with the help of this diffusion model, we're gonna use the stable diffusions. Before running this, click on this connect button here. This will connect to the remote uh, computer now. Here you can see now it is connected. Once it is connected, click on this play icon now. It will install all the models that we have specified now. Here you can see it starts installing these dependencies that we have specified. It's all. Now the dependencies has been installed. Let's import those now. Click on code. First we need to import the tar import tarts. And from the stable diffusions, from diffusions, we're going to import the, import the stable diffusion pipeline and click on this play icon. For the first time, it will build the cache file for our model. Here you can see this will only be run one time now. Now that cell has been executed successfully, let's define a function that will take a prompt. And based on the prompt, we're going to generate the image. So def generate image. So this will take us a prompt parameter. First, we need to select the models. We're going to use the model provided by the Confis. Confis is a company or organization that trained this model. So, model ID equal to Confis. We're going to use the stable diffusion provided by this company or an organization. They have trained this model. So, we're going to use the model from the stable diffusion. And the version number is the V14. After we have defined the model, we need to build the pipeline and we, inside the pipeline, we will pass the model. So pipe equal to pipeline, stable diffusion pipeline and we're going to call the pre train model function. So dot from pre train function, pass the model ID now and let's also pass the data type for this torch data type equal to torch dot float 16. We're going to use the torch flow 16 data type and below that we will have to specify the GPU now, pipe.2, we're going to use the CUDA. So that's why we are using the Google Colab here. We need to use the GPU to generate the image faster. That's why we have changed the runtime to this T4 GPU. And after this, we can start generating the image. Image equal to, inside this pipe function, pass the prompt now. And let's also pass the guidance scale equal to 7.5. So this is it. And once it is generated, we're gonna fetch the first image. So dot images, we're gonna first image, we're gonna use the index zero. Once it is uh, generated, we're gonna save the image. Image dot save and give you a name for your output. In this case, I'm gonna type output dot png. So this is it. So we just use the five lines of Python code to generate the, the image from one text. Uh, executive cell now. Now the cell has been executed. So let's create a new code block now. First, let's define a prompt now. Prompt equal to a fantasy landscape with reverse and things. So this is the prompt that we're going to use to generate the image. So call the generate image function now. Inside this, just pass the prompt. And as you can just shell now. When you run this for the first time, it will download the models that we have provided here. Comfy stable diffusion. You can see that it's downloading the models for us. So another cool benefit of using the Google, Google Collab is that here you can see the size of these models are huge, 1.2 GP and 3 GP. If you are running locally, you will have to use this, this amount of internet. But since we are using the Google Collab, the Google provides us this internet connection. Here you can see the size of this model is about the 3.5 GP. 
now everything is downloaded is packaging these files now when you click on the file icon here currently we don't have any image but once the cell has been executed here the image will be successfully generated here so just give you a few minutes now here you can see is the model is starts building the image now the cell has been executed if you refresh on the files click on refresh icon now here you can see we get the image let's download this image and open it now click on download so let me open this image now so this is the image that we got for the prompt a yeah, fantasy landscape with mountains and rivers so the image is pretty accurate let me close this and change the prompt to something else so let me change the prompt to the batman and a yeah, joker let's see if the fusion model can generate the image for this here also you can see that the pipeline is loading just give you a few minutes since both the fi file name are same it will override the existing one here you can see both the file name are same the if it is the override one so let's download this and open it now here you can see we got the batman and a joker so let's change the file name to something else sports car let's also change the prompt to batman and car and click on this run icon now so now we got the image sportscar.png let's download our image and open it now so let's open this up so the image is uh, way off it is not working as we intended so let's close this so if you provide the prompt better the image will be better since we provide a way off prompt batman and car so that's why we provide this way of image so this is how you generate an image from a text without using any API. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.